Hi, what's that? Charlotte Danielson wants you to be in contact with parents and have better communication with families at home, but you just don't have the time. What are you going to do? You're going to use Message Center and Skyward. That's right, and I'm going to show you how. And here we go. So the first thing that you're going to do is open up your browser. I always use Google Chrome. I pity you if you don't. Sign into my Bethel here. Please don't look at my password. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Then I'm going to go to my favorites where I've got Skyward stored. You'll notice right here, I also have this bookmark, so I actually did not have to sign in my, to my Bethel. It's just this little shortcut I use, uh, but I wanted to go through my Bethel to show the rest of you how you most likely do it. There we go. Pop up blocker warning, and boom. We're good to go. So I'm going to show you two things today. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to email progress reports. Uh, and the second thing I'm going to show you is how to use Message Center to send home a more detailed uh, email to parents. So, teacher access, choose your classes, and I'll just take my first class here that's academic, Gateway to Technology. And over here on the left hand side, I can go to Reports. And then as I scroll down, Progress Reports, sorry, up here, Email Progress Reports. And this is great. You, uh, Email the progress reports. This will send a progress report for whatever you have currently in your grade book. Um, and it shows the term here, 9-7 to 10-27. So it can't go back before the beginning of the trimester. And obviously, we're not at the 27th yet. This is the 11th today. Uh, you could print students with grades of only certain grades. So if you want to just do a congratulations to every student that has an A or a warning to every student that has an I. Uh, you can do percentage or you can do print reports to students with certain amounts of abs absences. Uh, you can have students and guardians receive it or just students. Uh, some header information, what's going to appear in the report, ID, attendance, etc., etc. Uh, free form header, I believe you could probably put in your own categories here, like, uh, I don't know, I've never done this before. <laughs> yes, it's my first time. Shout out to David Hill for telling me how to do this. Uh, and then stuff like that. Category totals, group assignments by category, and then a whole bunch of other little details here. Fields to print, uh, special codes, descending or ascending order, and a few other things. Then comment like this is just a progress report. To keep you updated on your students progress something basic like that and then you go ahead and hit next and it'll list every student and all the emails that it's been sent to uh, and they're all right down there any one that's blank I think is somebody who's was listed in the class but then got dropped by the counselors at a later point that's why you see some blank ones here uh, and if you want to print any of them as opposed to just emailing them, that's fine. You click next and I believe it's going to go ahead and print them for you. But since I don't want to do that, I am just going to uh, click previous and come out of here. All right. So there's the first thing. If you just want to update people on grades, you can always email progress reports. It emails them separately for you, which is a super nice feature. You don't have to like, you know, save 25 attachments and email them one at a time. All right. Let's go back to classes. And Message Center is what I personally use more often, uh, Gateway to Technology. And I'm going to click over here on the left-hand side, Message Center. We've got two options here. You can add a message for multiple classes or add a message for the current class. Uh, the current class is the one I just chose, which is my Gateway to Technology. This highlighted thing here, sometimes I get confused. I think that's the current class. That is, um, this is just a list of the last things that I sent out. So I'm going to click add message for multiple classes. And since the classes are what we're choosing, we'll go down to the bottom where Skyward inconveniently pushes them. And we've got Gateway to Technology. This is the class that I just chose. And then I want to do my other Gateway class right here, 131. So I'll click that as well. Let's go back to the top. 
I'm going to skip the message uh, body until last and look at the options here. Posting options. This will post to Family Access and Student Access in Skyward. Uh, only post for students enrolled in selected classes, obviously. Post to Family Access. Post to Student Access. Allow parents to respond to this message. Allow students to respond. I've only ever had positive responses from parents, so I always keep this checked. And your students, they don't read email. So it doesn't matter. They text and do other sorts of phony things on their phones. I mean, so if you check this or not, if you look in their inbox, you'll see they have like hundreds of unread emails from teachers. Kids just don't read email anymore. Uh, I always leave my email, email address so they can email me back. That's fine. Uh, post on the calendar. I don't know how many people look on the calendar to see that there's a new message, but if they do, great. Update. Boom. This is the one that I think is most important. It's down here, the emailing options. I click that and it'll send it immediately. If there's something that you want to schedule for a later date, you can do that and then the message won't go out till maybe that Friday afternoon or 8 o'clock that night. You want to have a chance to get home first. I don't know. You have the option of uh, scheduling when it goes out. I say only send email for students currently enrolled in selected classes. Don't know why you'd be sending out massive messages to students in classes you don't yet have, but maybe you've got a reason for that. Email to students, email to gardens, leave all of this blank. If you keep this, uh, look at the parentheses here, email to guardians, they'll send to all guardians, whether they're primary, secondary, head of household, etc., etc. Email additional recipients. I do choose that, and I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, you've got principals and administrators that like to know what you're doing, and so it's nice to include them. I am a CTE teacher, so uh, I have a CTE director. He's new this year. It's nice to say, hey, Ron, I've been uh, contacting parents, and here's the messages I send them. Then they'll just be included on the email when you send it to the parents. I always think that's a decent thing to do. It doesn't harm anyone and helps you out a little bit with your... Daniel Slyn, TPEP, uh, parent communication stuff. All right, and I think then uh, down here, display additional details in the email body. I don't know what the course description is, where they chose that from, um, so I always take it off. Period and teacher name is fine. Then up to here, it's pretty simple. Weekly update. This box looks kind of bland. And you just have to knock this arrow where it says view style toolbar. And then it lets you uh, bold and other things like that. So I would just like, you know, hello parents. This is just a message to let you know what's been going on. And you can go on and on and describe. My typing is terrible right now. Describe what's been happening in your class, talk about grades, talk about projects coming up, tell them something that uh, you know they should be checking in Canvas to see if work's getting done or handed in, anything like that. One thing I like to do, because uh, I find that it resonates better and it is less writing, is I'll go to my YouTube channel, clickety-click. And I'll look at the latest video, and last Friday I had my uh, students do some of their skimmer work in class. So I'll just take uh, period three skimmers. Period three, round and one. I'll click share. Three, two, Copy this. One, go. Turn this off before it freaks you out. And then I'll just go down here and uh, I'll say click here for the latest video of period three doing cool stuff. You could be more specific than that, but I don't want to waste all of your time. Highlight it. Find the little linky guy. Paste that link. Boom. And now this becomes an active link. And that's really all there is to it. So it's, you know, three parts. Choosing the right classes. Choosing the right options under posting and emailing and then writing a message. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be glad to help you out. Thanks a lot guys, uh, close without saving. Have a good day.